Hello everyone, I'm your host, Wade. Thanks to Christopher Nolan's recent movie, Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb has once again become a part of the public imagination. The movie portrays J. Robert Oppenheimer as a man marked by his brilliant mind, complex personal life, strong political views, and groundbreaking professional achievements. In this video, we'll get a chance to better understand the life of Oppenheimer and see why he is now considered one of the most controversial figures of the 20th century. Oppenheimer was born on April 22, 1904 in New York City. Raised in a wealthy family, young Oppenheimer displayed extraordinary intellectual abilities from an early age. After graduating from Harvard University with honors, he continued his studies at the University of Cambridge, where he developed a lasting passion for theoretical physics. Despite his academic prowess, Oppenheimer didn't fit in with the students and staff at Cambridge, and once even tried to poison his tutor by leaving an apple with noxious chemicals on his desk. Even though Oppenheimer's parents convinced the administration not to press charges, he left Cambridge to study with Max Born at the University of Gutenheim, and at the age of 23, got his PhD. Throughout his life, Oppenheimer was vocal about his political beliefs. He advocated for social justice, civil liberties, and strongly opposed the rise of fascism in Europe. In the 1930s, he became involved in left-wing political circles with his future wife, Catherine Puning, which led to scrutiny during the 1950s Red Scare. The outbreak of World War II brought momentous changes to Oppenheimer's life. As the world grapples with the horror of war, the United States initiated the top-secret Manhattan Project, aiming to build the first atomic bomb. Oppenheimer's brilliance caught the attention of government officials, and he was appointed as the scientific director of the project. After two years of working on the bomb, Oppenheimer conducted the infamous Trinity Test, which was the first ever successful detonation of a nuclear weapon. As his staff saw the bomb's mushroom cloud rise into the sky, some of his staff cheered, others cried. But Oppenheimer famously quoted the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the shatterer of worlds. The end of World War II marked a turning point in Oppenheimer's life. While hailed as a national hero for his contribution to the war effort, he became increasingly concerned about the potential consequences of atomic weaponry. He lobbied for international cooperation to control nuclear proliferation and called for the establishment of a global authority to oversee atomic energy. I have been asked whether in the years to come it will be possible to kill 40 million American people in the 20 largest American towns by the use of atomic bombs in a single night? I am afraid that the answer to that question is yes. Despite his effort to promote international cooperation, Oppenheimer's political past and association with left-wing groups came under scrutiny. In 1954, the U.S. government revoked his security clearance, which effectively ended his direct involvement in public science projects. Oppenheimer's legacy is a paradoxical one. He remains both a symbol of scientific brilliance and a cautionary tale about the ethical implications of scientific achievements. Despite facing personal and political challenges, he continued his work in academia and scientific research, contributing to the field of theoretical physics and astrophysics until his death in 1967. J. Robert Oppenheimer's achievement in science and his passionate advocacy for peaceful use of atomic energy have left an indelible mark on history. As we look back on Oppenheimer's life, we can better understand the importance of having a strong moral compass guide the pursuit of knowledge. Hey,
啊，这是你的麦克风。是，待会我们拍的时候呢，如果我没有喊卡的话，你就继续念，啊、不要停。好 ，OK。没有喊卡，就给我继续念下去哦。嗯，好的。Hello, I'm Wade Lee. Thank you for joining us on Funday News. It is December 13th, and here are your top stories.